Hey guys, so this is going to be a bit of a different video today. Um, so as you guys might know, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes is celebrating its 11th anniversary. Um, they have Big Bang Mission 11 that just came out. And there's a few things I want to discuss here. Uh, this is going to be a... I, I guess I can call it a pack opening video. It's not really a pack opening video, but I'm going to be getting cards in this video. It's not really packed. It's like, you know, online card opening. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But um, basically what they do is they have this service where you can go online and um, you can buy the cards uh, from the machines, but you don't have to actually physically go to the arcade machine. The, the reason they started doing this is because because of COVID, a lot of people weren't comfortable going to the actual arcades to, uh, you know, play the games and buy the cards. So um, they started offering the service where you could, you know, pull the cards online instead of actually going to the arcade. Um, because typically the way that you get the cards through Dragon Ball Heroes, there's, a, there's no packs. You don't actually buy packs for this game. Um, well, they have, they have packs, but it's not related to the actual like main sets that they that they put out. The way you get the cards is you go to the arcades and then you put in uh, it's 100 yen to play once, and you get one card per 100 yen you put in, which is roughly a dollar, um, and then uh, you get one card every time you play the game. So uh, that's usually how you go about getting the cards here. But you know, for people who don't feel comfortable going to the arcades or you know going outside or doing whatever they want to do outside, um, you have the option to go on this website called uh, Web Card Ass, and you can. Um, get the cards online that way. So what I've done is I've loaded up um, some uh, some stock in this website. We'll take a look at it in a second. Um, so we're going to be doing a hundred cards first, see how lucky we get, and then uh, we will move on after that to see if uh, we can continue getting lucky or unlucky. So uh, just before we move into the actual card pulls here, this is the uh, Big Bang Mission 11. This is the official site. They have like all the cards listed on the official site here. So uh, you can go through and look at all the different cards that they have available here. Now there's a few ones that I'm looking to uh, grab if possible. Um, it's going to be very difficult to get some of the ones that I want, but uh, there's a lot on here. So uh, the way that Dragon Ball Heroes works is uh, we are going to um, have four different rarities, right? You have one star, three star, four, or uh, yeah, one, two, and three stars and four stars. So obviously we're looking for the four star cards, right? So we go to the four stars here. And um, even within the four stars, there are some cards that are above four star level. So up until this trunks here, everything after this trunks, so this Gogeta, the two Gokus, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we have this Goku, and then this one down here. These are all secrets. So the secret cards are the most rare cards that you can get, and those are the ones obviously you're trying to, you're trying to get, and the ones I'm trying to get in this video here. Um, but any of these ultimate rares, they're called ultimate rares, the four star cards, um, any of these ultimate rare cards I would be happy getting. Um, the ones that I'm really looking forward to getting, if possible, is this Goku's really, really good. Um, this Vegeta's pretty solid. Obviously, I would take the Super Saiyan 4s because they're just cool, right? Um, and then this Gogeta's... This is Evolution Blue Gogeta. He's, he's pretty good. Um, and then, in terms of the secrets, they have... <laughs> they have Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Gogeta. We have uh, the sort of fusion of key Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Zeno Goku. We have a um, recreation of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku transformation from when he goes, you know, from base to 1 to 2 to 3 against Majin Buu. And they actually do recreate that scene in the game as well. We have this one, which is a, an anniversary secret card. Um, so this one is um, sort of like a special card that is only available during the anniversary, because again, it's 11th anniversary here. And then what they did, this is the first time they've ever done this. They've released what they call a parallel rare card that is the same card as this. You can even see the outline, right? The dragon's claws right here, same thing as this card. This is the same card, right? The description and everything, it's the same as this one. The only thing is the like the card art is is different. Well, it's the same card art, but it's the, 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 the patterns and the designs on the front of it are different. And from what I've heard, this is like by far the hardest card to pull ever in the history of this game. So they're starting to really do like the you know, collector, like, appeal to the collectors, I guess, of this game, where they're, like, you know, putting in these super, super difficult to pull cards. Um, so, <laughs> I don't expect myself to be able to pull this in this video, um, but if we can get one secret rare in this video, I will definitely be content with that. Um, it is pretty difficult to pull uh, cards, though, like, the, the this, this set literally just came out, like, today. So, uh, we will be trying to pull uh, the cards here. So, I've started already doing this. 
Um, this is what it looks like. There's uh, 10 cards per pull here. And um, I didn't realize as soon as you paid, you in it like instantly drops you into the pull. So we have this pull here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, have the list pulled up here in a separate window here. And uh, we can go back and forth and see which cards we've pulled. Um, obviously, I'm pretty sure this is a four star card, ultimate rare slash secret rare card. Um, so we'll start with the commons. So we'll be able to see what we pull here with the commons. I don't really care about the commons, right? It's the one star cards. Actually, I think it's one or two stars. I'm pretty sure this Vegeta looks like a two star. Let me just see. Uh, let me filter by two star here. The, the 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 patterns on that Vegeta look like he probably would be a two star card. Yeah, this Vegeta's a two star card. So the sort of like the gray background cards are are two star. Um, it's possible this is a campaign card as well. I'm not really sure uh, what color they use for those because the campaign cards actually do look pretty cool as well. Like we can go to campaign here, um, and there's a bunch of those. So uh, we have the Super Saiyan 4 squad down here, like the full gold cards. We have the World Tournament uh, cards here. And then we have this new uh, like Tournament of Power, uh, new uh, card action ability um, thing here. So there's three different sets of campaign cards, and it looks like there's six each. So, um, I mean, obviously I'd like to collect some of these as well, because some of these look cool. Like, look, look at this. this do you, think the, you guys think this Vegeta looks cool? It's, it's hard to see because he's a little small, but I, the, the art is, is pretty cool for a campaign. Campaigns are not that hard to pull. Um, but obviously the ultimate rare cards down here are the ones that we want to get. All right, so what are we going to get here? This is, a, I guess it's a three-star Beerus. We got a, a th oh, that's a campaign, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is a campaign. So the campaign cards are uh, technically the gold background then, because this Topo is this one. Yeah, so he's a campaign. Okay, so this means that this is an ultimate rare. This is my first 10 cards here. Whew. Again, I'm looking for a secret rare, but... Uh, you know, it's not easy to pull a secret rare on the first 10 cards, so maybe... <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see. Oh my god, it's Gogeta the first 10? <laughs> oh my god. There he is, Lunar Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Are you kidding me? The first 10. Okay. <laughs> um, Sure, <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, this guy is pretty insane. Um, I haven't updated my uh, hero's um, sort of like guide in a long time. I'm thinking about going back into it and slowly adding back to it because I'm so f I'm like a year plus behind on that. Um, but uh, when I go to Japan and when I move over there, I'm, again, I, I'm still planning on doing that. Uh, the border literally, by the way, not it's just a small update on that. The border literally just opened this week. So I'm currently in the process of planning out when exactly I'll be moving over there. As of right now, I'm pretty sure that January is when I'm going to be moving over there. So uh, this is like a prelude to some of the videos I'll be doing when I move over there, right? I'm going to definitely be doing Heroes videos live, not just online here, but I'll be doing them live at the arcade, pulling them from the machine. I'll be have, I'll have my, like, my phone in my hand or I'll have somebody else with there recording me. Um, and that will be some of the new content that I want to do for you guys because I know a lot of you have asked about that. So, okay. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta first card, or first pull, I guess. That's pretty insane. Let's go next. All right, we got a bunch of one stars. Okay, this one doesn't look too exciting. Uh, hopefully we get some campaigns in here. Uh, Bobbity, no, and Shampa, no. Okay, so those are, those are just regular three star cards. Uh, this one, yeah, this one doesn't look like anything too crazy. Let's go next. Okay, we got three golds. Shampa, Supreme Oh, there's, there's a campaign card. Is that Gohan? Yeah, that's Gohan. Super Saiyan 4 Gohan campaign. Let me pull up his card real quick, just so I can see. Uh, I haven't... Re oh, that's not the wrong one. I haven't really, honestly, looked at the details too much of what these cards do, which, um, I mean, doesn't really affect me right now because I can't play the game yet. Um, but yeah, they have, like, a special ability here, which most of those campaign cards do have, so pretty cool. And then the rest are pretty much just going to be nothing. Um, so I believe this was 40, so we're going to go 50 next. All right, we got three golds again. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, Hit is a campaign card. He is part of the uh, the new... I can't even see. Is that a touch action ability? Yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a touch action ability, this one. Which means you have to use your finger to touch the screen and do like whatever the, uh, the prompt is to activate the effect there. Okay, so that should be 50. This should be six. Honestly, I'm already content. Like we got the secret rare Super Saiyan Four Limit Breaker Gogeta. I'm, <laughs> I am. Uh, don't I don't care. Whatever, whatever else we pull, I don't care. Is this a campaign? Um, I don't think so. I think this is just a normal three star. This Kalen Khalifa. 
So this one, um, let me just see. Uh, no, I think it actually is a campaign. Let me go back up to campaign here. I didn't see it on here. Is that not, is that a two star? This one? Maybe it is. The art kind of looks like a two star. Uh, yeah, actually it is a two star. Okay. That, that's pretty cool for a two star, like a, a just like an uncommon. All right, next. I've lost track of how many we're at here. All right, this one's kind of like a dud. Actually, does this just open all the cards? Yeah, okay, let's just do that then. Um, nothing, we got dupes of, of Ganos, right? All right, next. Another four star. Okay. Let's see. Um, all right, so we got Kale Campaign. <sighs> okay, so again, before we... <laughs> it's nerve-wracking. Before we open the ultimate rare here, Again, we already got this. There's no way we're getting another one of these. Um, I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. Um, I will take... Again, this is the main one I want. I'm pretty sure I was watching some uh, Japanese YouTubers talk about like what their rankings for these cards were. And most people came to the consensus that they like this Goku the best. So I am, you know... Uh, basically what happens in this game is a lot of the value of these cards comes from how good they are. So... Because this Goku is the best, probably going to be the most valuable one out of the ultimate rares, not the secret rares. So, well, I'm going to pull an ultimate rare here. I'll take this. I'll take the Majin Vegeta because his art is sick. Like, this is when he blasts the audience in the tournament, right? I'll obviously also take this guy, the Vegeta. I'll take Gogeta as well. This Goku is pretty cool. This is from his fight against, um, uh, I think it's the Ma Jr. fight. Uh, this Goku. Yeah, I think this is the Goku fought Ma Jr. in the World Tournament. So, I mean, pretty much any of these are cool. The ones I really don't really care about is this guy, like Shudusa. This is like the Shroom and Salsa fusion. Um, Kid Fu with like the wings on it. I don't really think that's that cool. That's cool. These two cards right here, this Vegeta and this Trunks, are reprints of the first ever set. So the first ever set featured these two cards as four stars. They've reprinted them, and then they've given them like up updated modern abilities. So it's kind of like they got an easy A or a Zenkai, kind of. Alright, let's open it. Okay, it's the Vegeta. Okay, so th yeah, th this is the Vegeta that was a part of the first ever set. We can actually pull up the first ever set here. Look how many sets there are in this game. It's insane. So we go all the way back down to the first ever set here. Um, and uh, we should be able to... Yeah, it's just... Hold on. <laughs> Let me click this here. First ever set. And uh, yeah, this Vegeta... Look how... Look how like updated the art is as well. It looks way better on this new one, I think. Some people have seen say like the old. Look, this is this is the only thing yet is this one ability down here. <laughs> so yeah, um, a re they're they're starting to reprint these older cards now because the game is so old and it's so hard to find them because they're just so they're just so old. So that Vegeta, I mean, I'll take a four star. Right, any four star the game this uh, wants to give me, I will gladly accept that. All right, next, another ultimate. Okay. All right, what is this three-star? A campaign Jiren, everyone's favorite Jiren. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Evolution Blue Gogeta. Okay, I'll take that. Dude, this has been an insane... What? This These pulls have been crazy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, I got to look at what these guys do, but uh, there's no way they're going to make Evolution Blue Gogeta bad, right? So I'll take that. All right, this might be the last one. I'm not sure. I've, again, I haven't really been keeping track. Let's go through all these first. All right, and then we got Catopesla, everyone's favorite unit. And then we got Supreme Kai of Time. Is that it? No, we got one. I think this is probably the last one. All right, this is probably nothing great. Mighty Mass Campaign. And I, yeah, that looks like that's it. So we did end up pulling. I, think there's, I don't know if there's a way to... Uh, change the order of where we pull these things but i mean this is the biggest win we had this gogeta <laughs> i'll do one more set of 100 and i think at that point we will call it a video just try my luck for a little bit longer all right we are back and we should be good to start the second round here there we go there's my first set of 10 looks like all the good ones are at the, <laughs> at the bottom usually all right let's just full open this i don't want to spend too much oh we got the vegeto i believe this vegeto is the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I think there's both iterations. I think there's a Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 and just a normal Super Saiyan 4 for that campaign. Um, yeah, this Vegeta is normal, and I believe this one is Limit Breaker. It doesn't say on here, um, because 
the the place where it talks about the actual forms on the back of the card, and this doesn't have any of that info here. So, yeah, but I'm pretty sure this is the Limit Breaker one, and this is just the normal Super Saiyan 4 version. You can kind of tell because the hair is a little bit red tinted on this one, so that's that makes sense. All right, let's go next. Come on, give give, give me a give me a four star here. Three or four gold. All right, let's see. This is Obni from the Tournament of Power. We got Frieza, Frieza Resurrected. I guess it's a transforming Frieza. Um, and then that's fine. That's pretty much it there. Okay, another one that doesn't really matter. These are these are more realistic pulls, right? <laughs> I got three ultimates or three four stars in the first 100. That's very unlikely. So this one might be dead. We'll see. Uh, this one's dead. Uh, we got Toa. Okay. Another dead one. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we used up our luck in the beginning here. Another one with another four star. They got another another mighty mask here. All right. Come on. No, <laughs> we're getting shafted now. My junior is here. We got Jackie Chun campaign. Oh, there's one. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. There's a Kale campaign card. I'm I'm feeling. I'm feeling one of these. Come on. I mean, if you want to, if you want to give me the parallel, I'll take the parallel. You know, <laughs> I've heard this is like a one in like three thousand pull, by the way. So uh, <laughs> this is, e by the way, I believe this card will easily become the most expensive card ever in Heroes history. It's probably gonna, probably gonna go for like six hundred plus dollars, if I had to guess. But all right, let's see. Okay, I'll take that. That's the Mod Junior fight Goku. So, I mean, at the very least, we're not getting dupes, right? That's that's the biggest issue I have with uh, doing these polls sometimes is when you're at the arcade doing this and you're like you're like really deep into the polls and you just start getting dupe after dupe after dupe. It gets so annoying. <laughs> All right, let's go next. Can we get two back to back? We cannot. All right. Uh, we got a Demon King Piccolo. I don't think I've pulled him yet so far in this video. Damn, I'm going to have to do one more set. This is fun. This is fun. Uh, oh, we got a Broly campaign. Okay, so this is Super Saiyan 4 Broly. And that looks like that was it. Okay, so we just got the Goku there. All right, I will be right back. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. All right, here we go. We are back for round three. This is this is whatever happens here. This is the final round. I'm not going to go deeper than this. Um, this is just a fun video. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, actually, because this is something different. Right? I don't ever. This is the first time I've ever done this. Fun fact, I did do this like a year ago, and the video uh, was lost. <laughs> so I have actually done this before. Um, but uh, not on the channel, so. Um, all right, so we got the uh, transforming Goku. Nothing crazy here. Come in, give me a four star, please. No. Uh, all right, we got my junior again. These are pretty much cards we've all gotten already. Um, I think we've pretty much gotten every non four star there is to get, except for some of the campaigns, right? Come on. Damn. Uh, oh, I don't think we've gotten this kid Goku yet. This is one of the, from the uh, World Tournament campaign series. Okay, take that. If I can get one more four star before the end of this, where we'll be looking good, we'll be looking good. Another none. Jackie Chun, we already got him. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know if we've gotten this TN yet. He's a three star. All right, show me a four star here. Okay, we did get a four star here. All right, so we got uh, another Beerus. Kale again. We were, we've already gotten. <sighs> okay, the trunks. Okay, I mean, I mean, again, at least it's not a dupe. So we've gotten both of the reprints um, of those older cards. So I'll take that. All right, another three gold. Another Kid Goku here. Um, all right, this is probably like the next one's probably the last one, or this was the last one. Okay, that was the last one. All right, well, there we go. Um... I would consider this a success. We got the Gogeta. We got a bunch of URs that we that obviously didn't have, right? Got this Goku. We got Evolution Blue Gogeta. We got both of the reprints, and we got the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Limit Breaker card. So if you guys like this video, let me know, and I could do more. Um, this is definitely something different, but um, yeah, if you guys uh, like this, just leave, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see more, and um, if you have any questions about how this works, I can send it to you down below. Oh yeah, by the way, um, this is available to Japan only. Uh, they do not ship internationally, so if you, <laughs> if you um, 
if you're interested in doing this, you have to have an address in Japan that you want to send this to, and then they'd have to probably send it to you via mail. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind as you do this. But hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, so I decided to do one more, uh, just quickly, and um, <laughs> we ended up pulling the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now this is a secret as well. So now we have Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So the only two secrets we're missing are this uh, sort of like both the Gokus together and this Goku here, um, and then obviously the parallel. But I'm not, I'm not like counting on pulling this one, right? Oh my god, dude! <laughs> These pulls have been insane. I. I <laughs>